was the recruiting process like when, when Coach Strong first got in contact with you and you were mulling offers from different schools? I think uh, knowing some of the guys on the staff here and knowing Coach Strong, it, you know, it wasn't really a recruiting pitch. It was just a matter of coming over, sitting down, talking ball, and making sure that I'm what he wanted, you know, because uh, – you guys, it's the University of Texas. It's the capital of football. Why not? It's been tough to make the transition from it's all about what's best for the kid to it's all about what's best for the kid, but I want you to come to Texas sort of thing. Um, well, I feel like what's best for the kid is coming to the University of Texas. I mean, who wouldn't? That's why I came here. I, I wouldn't have come here, man. I had a great job. Uh, I, I wasn't looking for uh, just any job. I wanted a great job. When you get your degree from here, you've really got something. They've got great football. They've got a great town. I mean, they've got a great tradition, and I, and I really think Coach Strong's a great, great person and a great coach. So when I'm on the recruiting trail, it's pretty easy for me just to tell the truth that I, I really believe it's what's best for your kid. Coaches learn a lot from players just like players learn from coaches. And I mean, I've learned a lot. I've, I've coached uh, Marvin Harrison, who, who, who will probably be in the Hall of Fame next year at this time. Uh, I've, I've coached, I've been around Jerry Rice and Tim Brown. Um, you learn a lot from great players. Um, you know, you, I've coached some really good players in college as well. Um, and so all those experiences can be helpful to these kids. And, and that's all I try to do. You know, as a coach, you're like a reminder. You remind guys and try to keep their priorities in, in check. But, you know, I tell every kid I've ever coached, I said, you know, in four years, when you leave here, I don't want you to come back and say, wow, coach, you should have coached me harder. I, I don't want anybody to say that about me. So they'll get their money's worth every day uh, with me. Uh, but but th I think that's what my job is. My job is is to help these guys be the very best they can be. Care a lot about and even have a foundation is of course it's important for a lot of people in, in autism awareness. Can you tell us a little bit about that? I actually got involved in it because of my son, my middle son AJ, is uh, autistic, and uh, I used to do my foundation for underprivileged kids and. Uh, you know, I realized that charity starts at home, then it goes abroad. So I uh, changed my foundation to autism, and uh, it's been a really great experience for me and my family. How has that kind of molded or shaped the way that you approach coaching? It's given me a new lease on life and understanding people. I mean, sometimes you have to dig a little deeper to find the real truth. Uh, you know, a lot of times it's not just on the surface. You have to dig a little deeper and find out, and that's what we had to do with our son. So... Why not everybody else's kid? They deserve the same thing. Have you gotten used to having that long one on your chest? When oh yeah, for an orange. Yeah, I'm, I'm, uh, I'm all about it. So I'm, I'm used to it. I'm excited and I'm ready to go.